Hi, this video is about the Careva Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the April 2013 Grade 5 6 Contest Question 15, which also came up in the Grade 7 8, 9 10, and 11 12 contests. So the question is the diagram below is to be completed so that each box contains a whole number. The total of the numbers in the 13 boxes is 2005, and the sum of any three consecutive boxes is always the same. In how many different ways is it possible to complete the diagram in this way? So the question already gives us two conditions. The first condition is that the total of the numbers in the 13 boxes must be 2005, and the second condition is that the sum of any three consecutive boxes is always the same. So, for example, the sum of these three boxes must be the same as these three, and so on. So, we will keep the first condition in mind for later, which is the total of the numbers in the 13 boxes is, is 2005, and we will keep the second condition in our head for now, which is the sum of any three consecutive boxes is always the same. So, let's start at the farthest left box of the diagram. So we know that the sum of these three consecutive boxes must be the same as the sum of the next three consecutive boxes, which would be these three. So we do not know what the first number is, so let's call this A. Then we know that 175 is given, and we do not know the next number, so we will call this B. So we know that the sum of any group of three consecutive boxes must be A, 175, and B. So as you can see, in this group of three consecutive boxes, and this group of three consecutive boxes, we know that 175 and B overlap. So if we know that 175 and B added to A is the same sum as any other group of three consecutive boxes, then that means that since we know that 175 and B is here, we know that this box must be A. So now we would start from B, and then we would have this group of three consecutive boxes, B, A, and the next number, and that would have to be the same sum as the sum of this group of three consecutive boxes, which is A, 175, and B. So we know that we have A and B, which is also here, and then here we added 175 to A and B, so we have A and B, we know that this must be 175. So as you can see now, it is just a cycle. We have A, 175, B, A, 175, and then B, and so on. So as you can see, right as I was about to write B, we can already see that in this box, 70 is given, so we will take b equals 70, and now we will write the next variable, which is a, to complete the pattern. So, now that we know that b is 70, anywhere in this diagram that we see b, we will just substitute 70 in. So as, as you can see here, we have the pattern. So here we will take out, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5a.
plus, and then we have four times the 175.70 here, here, and here. And we know that the total of the numbers in all 13 boxes is 2005. So after we find the product of 4 times and then whatever the sum of 175 and 70 is, then after we have that, we would subtract both sides by that. And then here, all we would have on the left side is 5a, and then we would have a number. And then, since we want a, we would just divide both sides by 5, and then we would have a equals a number. So we would know that a could only be one number. So if we know that a can only be one number, 175 is given, and 70 is given, we know that the sum of the group of three consecutive boxes is always the same we know that there is only one possible way to complete this diagram. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at www.brocky.ca.